in New Orleans, John Willis Maynard, uh, really with the fire in his chest to fight this injustice, enters politics and decides that after all, maybe we should continue to stake out our claim in the United States for a fair and equal-minded future where we have access to the political system where a black man and a white man can run for Congress on equal terms. He obtains this uh, ownership of a newspaper in New Orleans in 1866 and uses this as a springboard that gets him elected to the United States House of Representatives two years later on a uh, special election. I'll, I'll conclude here with a picture of Maynard's arrival in the United States House of Representatives in 1869. It was an international media event, the first African American arriving on the floor of the House. This picture was taken uh, out of uh, Frank Leslie's illustrated newspaper. Uh, Harper's Weekly also covered it. The Times of London covered it, and they knew him from the air incident. Uh, so he, he, his international stock contributed to the media event around this. The last uh, and final remarkable thing about Maynard's life is when he arrived in Congress in 1869, he was only 30 years old. He accomplished uh, this entire career of being a leader within the United States abolition movement, one of the instigators, participants of reforms in the Jamaican government, a captive and victim of the Morant Bay Rebellion, and the first African American elected to Congress by the age of 30. <laughs>